A proper product manufacturer does its research and looks at the competition and sees what they are offering and they compare it to whatever new thing that they're going to bring out because it's a competitive marketplace. You know, dollars are spent wisely, like a car, for example, or a truck. Well, Neve put out the 8424 console, and I believe it's available for purchase now, and it looks really nice. It does. It looks really nice, but there's a major problem. Major problem. So, and this is the second time I've recorded this video because I had settings wrong on the last one. Anyway, June 22nd, 2020, following the success of the hugely popular Genesis Black console, British manufacturer AMS Neve has unveiled another classic in the shape of the Neve 8424, a small format console with a large format sound, based on the iconic 80 series console range. The 8424 console is designed to fit the needs of the modern hybrid studio where the speed of in-the-box workflow is enhanced with the ultimate sound quality of analog outboard gear. Designed to be straightforward and accessible to all, this versatile and powerful desk provides a centralized platform with unparalleled connectivity, facilitating an ergonomic... Facilitating an ergonomic link between the linear analog processing world of outboard gear, analog synths, and instruments to the digital world of DAW workflow, software plugins, and session recall. Okay, that all sounds great. Let's get to the nitty gritty down here the specs. Okay. And yeah, so here's the problem. Two inputs per channel. Right? Okay. Well, that's that's actually not too bad. But the problem is you only get two microphone preamps. And yes, they are 1073. And yes, they do have direct injection or uh, instrument input. But guess what also does? My Audion ID14. My Audion ID14 has two microphone preamps. You know, I don't understand why somebody would spend $25,000 for something that's supposedly a console and you only get two microphone preamps. Am I the only crazy one? The answer is no, because this thread is asking the question, Neve, is this a joke? Who the heck is going to pay... $25,000 on something that has so little features. You know, it's just, who thought of this? You know, somebody um, brought up the fact that uh, there's this thing called the, like a, a loop trotter modular console, which I just found out about. So I'm going to look into that and maybe interview the people that made it. Had I known that they were at AES a couple years ago, I would have um, definitely interviewed them on camera. But anyway, the specs are just absolutely terrible. Um, <laughs> I mean, I guess that's great that it has 48 channels of summing. But, you know, for $25,000, you know, this thing should at least have maybe, I, I would say, 10, 10 recording inputs. You, you know, 12 12 would have been better because guess what? The API Box 2.0, that thing is around $17,000. You get eight microphone preamps, and each of them you can put in a 500 series module. And then you also have 24 channels of summing, which for me is more than enough. I don't know what Neve was thinking with this. Again, it looks really nice, but I'm, I don't care about looks. I care about practicality. I care about function. For $25,000, which is the cost of a lot of different vehicles in the United States, this is a piece of garbage. Sorry, Neve. It is. Who, who wants to buy this thing? 
you know, uh, mixanalog.com is about to put a summing box that you can rent very cheap. You know, again, marketing research, market research. They don't know what's going on around them. They think they're on their own little island because, oh, they have the Neve name. Who cares? Who cares? Heck, I would rather want an Audient console. You know, those are, if you buy them used, they're like around $15,000. You get a lot more bang for buck that way. You know? I don't get it. I, I don't get what they were thinking other than we're going to stamp our name on the side of a desk and call it a day. You know, if this thing had eight 1073s and, you know, equalizers on each channel, I, mean, I, I could see that. You know, that, then it can compete with the box. I thought the original box was a little bit of a joke, too. But, you know, it was also, it wasn't 25 grand. And it also had equalizers that were built in, if I recall correctly. So, you know, they went back to the drawing board, put out the box too. And actually, that's something that I would recommend um, to smaller, I should say medium-sized studios with bigger budgets. Because, you know, if you finance it, you can probably afford it. And it looks nice. It sounds nice. It looks nice. I would not have recommended the original The Box. It was cool. I saw one in person when I went and toured at API's headquarters. Uh, but I, that was not something that I would have considered buying um, realistically. And also, um, you know, if you want a British sound, guess what? You can also get uh, a, a, Trident, a Trident console. I, I forget the model number but apparently that has microphone preamps and equalizers on every channel and I, I don't know how many are on there but um anyway this is just this is ridiculous it's not april 1st so this is not a joke this is real uh good luck selling these things a sucker is born every day that's all i can say about that and i'm gonna go charge my cell phone battery <laughs>